Hi everybody, welcome back to Fragmental. I'm Chris, this is Aaron. Hi Aaron. Hello Chris, how are you doing? In this video, I just wanted to talk to Aaron about a fragrance that I've had some very positive experiences with at the moment. It is Reflection 45 from Amouage. Stay tuned. <laughs> Aaron, what do you think about compliments? Do you like them? Do you get many of them? I hate it. You uh, hate getting a compliment? I hate, I right. hate getting compliments. I hate getting recognised. I hate anything of that. Absolutely not. You like to fly below the radar? Absolutely. I don't right. like it at all. But th this bottle is like transfixing me. It's like, yeah. it's like amazing. It's got a rainbow shimmer to it, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Do you know how they do it? The rain? No, I don't actually. They, it's like a dual layer. Yeah, I think, no, they paint the inside of the, so it's in two layers. They paint the inside uh, backwards, so outside, and then they would paint the outside. It's yeah. very, very, very beautiful bottle. It's a stunning bottle. I, yeah. I love, I love the Amouage bottles. They're great. So I wanted to talk to you about this fragrance because I've recently had a very positive. Okay. Experience. You, you would have hated the night I had wearing this fragrance, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> so um, I had a travel sprayer of uh, Amouage Reflection Forty Five. This is part of their exceptional extra X collection. Okay. So it's a flanker to the original Reflection Man, okay. which is EDP concentration, but the Forty Five um, relates to the Forty Five Percent concentration. So it's the extra, so it's strong. First of all, let me spray it on your skin so it can okay. start to develop a little bit as I'm uh, telling you the story about this fragrance. Just along here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I wore this on the night out in in Milan and uh, this was over the space of sort of maybe six, seven hours. And most people that I came into contact with, and I, I, I knew it was a good fragrance, but I didn't think it would have this effect in terms of the people around me, but everyone was asking what I was wearing and they were, they were loving it. I must have had 15 compliments. That's why you would hate it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know no, absolutely not. <laughs> um, I couldn't believe it. So I actually bought myself a bottle of okay. this. I thought I, you know, uh, a fragrance that I love and I know is loved by, by people around me. And so I thought I, I really wanted to, to have a bottle of you this. You can see it's oily. So you can feel that The high a, oil yeah, concentration, yeah. yeah. So, do you think it's, there's something about this fragrance that makes it so easy to get compliments from? Is it, do you think it's a crowd pleaser? What, what do you think about this when you break it down for us? I think, uh, so this company is very strong perfumery. I think they're, um, I like their Black Iris and I hated it initially, but the dry down, and I tell you what it is with this company, you may not like it when it comes on the skin initially, but when you get that sort of movement away, the movement is always on everything very, very beautiful. And I remember I sprayed the black iris on and I was like, I don't like that at all, it's horrible. And then it's too jarring and then I kept smelling it and it became one of uh, my fragrances, which I think is, right. I really, really liked it. This is doing the same thing. It smooths out as after, after smooth, the initial opening. Yeah, smooth, yeah, smooth. And they use, um, Amouage use a lot of um, very expensive raw materials and they give you a, it's quite irisy, and they're using ionones in a quite high uh, concentration mm. of this, and they deal with quite complex technical perfumery. But in answer to your question, yeah, I think it's awesome because, and that I think when you spray it, the effect which you, I think that I heard, which was put it on, thought it was nice, but then later on people were saying that it smells nice. Mm -hmm. What they get right in their range is that the, the CR, the movement away is different. That is so, so hard to create, that you're creating a fragrance for how it drifts back, how it fills a room. Nice, I think, I think it's nice. Um, I don't think, it, uh, not for me, but I think it's that perfume concentration and I kind of, I think maybe an hour's time it might be for me, quite mm. flat, buttery. Has it got iris in? It does, yeah, oh, it okay. has an iris, uh, which is fairly prominent, I would say, but for me, the iris is somewhere in between the lipsticky, powdery, sort of Diorum-like iris and a bit more of a, an earthy, dirty. Petrally. Iris. I always call, call them like uh, that sort of like. Yeah, it's got that earthiness to it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Exactly. Not, not petrol, but it's sort of like slightly medicinal, yeah. um, harsh, woody iris there instead is of soft. There's a little yeah. bit of a harshness underneath this, that harsh earthiness, but it's really beautifully balanced with, with some sweeter notes. Buttery. Buttery, yeah. smooth, projecting, strong. I bet this doesn't come off your skin. No, it, it lasts, I bet it's yeah. on for days, yeah. yeah. What is it about this that attracted all those comments that night for me? What is, 
It, w it was a warm evening, so it would have probably been projecting a lot because of that. I think it's the, um, the combination of, so when you have soft powdery notes, mm -hmm. which um, again is that baby powder smell, which is sort of in there, which, which people love. And I think it goes back to when they were a baby, it's very reminiscent of that. When you juxtapose that against harsh sort of metallic woods and uh, sort of medicinal notes and woods and kind of all of that stuff, you get just a very well balanced, but it smells there's a masculinity to it. For sure, yeah. And I think, actually, now you've said it, I think the key thing with this, which is why it attracts attention, is the juxtaposition. Absolutely. You know when you go for a meal, and you go to a really nice restaurant, the chef will put two different foot tastes, two different things on a plate that you would never think would go together, but combined creates this explosion of taste that you've never um, tasted before. And it just sort of fires up all these synapses in your brain. And you know, you're just overwhelmed with the sort of enjoyment, the sensation of enjoyment. Maybe that is, it is that sort of same type of juxtaposition of that dirtier earthiness combined with these powdery sweeter notes that make it such a, a nice fragrance for people the, to smell. The, I can speak for like what I've learned about my, my work is the best, my best work is when you have sort of slightly something, not juveniles, not the right word, but something like soft powdery or sweets. A youthful energy. Too. Yeah, and right. you combine it with something animalistic. Mm. When you have that combination, people go mad for it. Right. It, it doesn't matter what it is, if you can Which work through sort that. sort of what you did with hard candy, isn't it? Hard candy, yeah. onyx, 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 all of those, my uh, boss bastard, all the ones which are really, really strong sellers all have a, a one side combined with the other side and it always has some dirty animal notes, what I'd consider animalistic and uh, sort of ambergrissy, you know, the animal notes and those at trace amounts give this sort of finish and I think the brain subconsciously picks up on animal notes combined with sweetness, that they, one part of the brain can connect with sort of sweet notes and, and softness and baby powder and sweetie shops and all the rest of it. And the other side, the more animalistic, the older side of the brain connects with the sort of the, the uh, ambergris, the, the civet at trace amounts, the castorum, all of them at trace amounts give this sort of finish to it. Yeah. And that's kind of what it is, but it's also as well with this, it's got a, uh, a real, you can smell it like a clean, super, super clean core to it. Yeah. Which smells like shaving foam or smells like bubble bath or smells like that really, really clean surfactant smell. Mm. So you've got a combination of irisy notes, sweet, sweet, soft, powdery, baby powder combined with animal notes, combined with sort of clean, uh, the core which is super, super clean, radiant. Yeah. And those things are, are key to perfumes doing well. And then you combine all of them with um, something lasting on the skin, something being long lasting. If there's resins in there, so I think they yeah, help with all the, of that. the longevity, yeah. It's these little explosions of juxtaposition that are just pop, 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 pop all around you. And I think that's what makes people love it so It's much. got something like frankincense in it. So it's got some incense-y or yeah. some myrrh or, or... Yeah, I think a poppinax is a note. That mm. sort of like slight um, mm. medicinal incense you sort of really trace but it's things like that that, that the brain subconsciously picks up on yeah, but what i'm picking up on on the top is uh masculine it smells really masculine and that's harsh woods lux lone or uh Cephalis. they are harsh metallic at the core amber notes and then the iris soft powdery iris it's just very clever, but you can, it's really smooth and very, very blended perfectly, mm. which is so, so hard to do. Even if I don't like a fragrance, I can admire, really, really admire, because I know how hard it is to make a perfume, something that's taken years to develop and every day working at one aspect of it. Yeah. So this is had someone working at it for, for God knows how long, you yeah. know, tirelessly working at it, and that's what you can smell. It's a bit of a masterpiece, I think. Yeah, I think so too. And I think I appreciate it even more now hearing you talk about how difficult it is to create not only the, the, the smell but the different aspects of the performance and how it projects and how people around you uh, will smell it. I, ha I do have a deeper appreciation. If you love fragrance as much as I do, head over to my online store luxparfum.co.uk. You'll find my favourite brands plus brands you can't find anywhere else in the UK. Link is in the description. This in one evening became my most complimented oh, fragrance right. ever. It's, it's that juxtaposition of it. Yeah. Um, Perfumery is, uh, I always try and give this message out as, as much as I can, is insanely difficult because you have to create something 
that people recognize straight away, something that's likable straight away, something that's different, projects, long lasting, sillage, doesn't smell weird. And so when I smell something that somebody's worked hard at, I almost can smell the hard work and determination. And it's just, you go in every day and you're developing some aspect to a perfume every single day. And it is, mm. oh my gosh, it just goes on and on. And that's what's happening with these very high end fragrances. Yeah. You can put something in there which is put together and pushed out, you have to work at it. And I think that hard work and the years that have gone into creating a fragrance as, uh, as well done as this, perhaps reflect the price because it is not the cheapest of fragrances. But I think sometimes the price is not just reflecting the, the smell, it's reflecting the years of work oh my God. into creating uh, it, the, the years of research and development. Hallelujah to that, because I can tell you, when you're working at a fragrance, some things come together really fast. So if you're doing something which is uh, like a citrus for 60 quid, you, you're not gonna put the time and effort that you, when you're working with something, a raw material that costs so much money, you're gonna be working diligently a lot younger, sometimes over a period of maximum of a year. Mm. And if you think you're working at something, uh, so you've triggered me into all this, but- it's great, no, this it, is what I wanted. Yeah. If you were working at, so how I do with perfumery, which is that you, you get your idea down and you work at some aspect of it. Oh my God, and it just goes on. The musk accord, altering the musk accord, taking one thing out, putting something in, and then you're dealing with altering the base notes of it, altering how it projects, altering that, and then the musk doesn't work with it, so you have to re-alter it. Then working the citruses, oh my God, the mandarin doesn't work, lowering the mandarin, increasing the mandarin, increasing the, all of this, and it goes on and on and on. Well, for anyone who, and I do think it's an expensive fragrance, but I do think it is one of those that, after having this discussion, that is, is probably worth the price. So hopefully watching this video gives people an appreciation of why some fragrances do cost so much. £390 for 100 mil, $500. Uh, so it is not the cheapest. So. No, but I, I kind of think, you, you, you've got to think about these high, these ones that are, are up then is, it, they need to last over 12 hours, they need to give that effect you're getting, and then they need to give you, it's everything they need to give you, the dry down, the longevity, the projection, the compliments, otherwise they're not worth the price. But if you're getting all of that, I think it's well worth the price. Yeah, and I'm probably gonna have this, it's so strong, I'm probably gonna have this for the rest of my life. There you go. So 300, and, I, I actually so. paid 290 because okay. I got 100 pounds off on a discount right. on a website. Um, so 290 pounds. Uh, I said in my video, you know, I can fill up my, the tank in my van there twice for that, yeah. for that price. And that's, that's just uh, dissolves yeah. away into the atmosphere. But this is something I'll treasure for, for the rest of my also, life. Also with the pricing, yeah. I really want to say, if you love it, it's worth the money. If you don't love yeah, it, for sure. don't get it. Yeah, exactly. Well, Aaron, that was that was great. I yeah. genuinely wanted to hear you break down this fragrance to try to wrap my brain around why this was loved so much on on that evening. So that's been really, uh, really interesting. Thank you for doing that. My pleasure. Uh, do you want to give it a rating? I know you said it's not necessarily your type of thing, but out of ten, what would you give it? I, I the, as it's drying down, it's nice. So I tell you. Wang in the market, the Lyric Man, I loved it, but it had, is it the Lyric Man, the one that's the rose? rose. Yeah. yeah, I loved it apart from a, there was a note in it that was like a really like smooth uh, note. I think it was one of the sandwood, which was slightly too smooth. They're using it in this as well. But, uh, so I don't like that note. So I give it like a nine. The reason why I don't, why I wouldn't rate it higher is I just don't like that sort of, but I understand why you like it. You like that sort of smoky note. So, but I don't like that sort of super smoky, okay. smooth, only smooth mm -hmm. note. But you understand, you know, with, with me, I'm developing perfumes. So I get really like nitpickety about certain things, you know, and- Yeah, which obviously most people yeah. don't, but yeah. But that, that, this is not gonna come off your skin. No, no, it's great, yeah. Well, there we go. Reflection 45, one of, well, my most, complimented fragrance and I'm not saying that compliments are the be all and end all but no. I'm just explaining that I had an experience with this that I've not had with any other fragrance. Yeah. So. Chris I, I think if you're spending that amount of money you have to expect compliments if you don't okay. get compliments it, I think 400 quid you need to have that or you smell yeah. good what are you wearing it kind of should go, should go with it. Okay. That's right. what I think. Well, thank you for uh, breaking that down for us, Aaron. It's been good to share my experience and share the fragrance with you. So, always good to have you. Yeah, fantastic, Chris. Come back again soon. Yeah, absolutely. Don't forget to jump over to Aaron's channel, subscribe to him for more Perfumer Rates videos. 
If you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do all that, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.